What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video here on Charleston Car Videos at Southern Motor Company. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the 1996 red on red Chevy Corvette. Here we go. Check it out, the 96 Corvette. So this is the last year for the C4 Vet. I'm telling you, after 96, that was it for this body style. 97 came and it brought a whole new Corvette to the game. Anyways, I love this body style. It's one of my favorites. And today we'll be showing it to you. Now, this is just a super clean 96 Vet. It has no aftermarket modifications done to it. It's all stock and that's okay. You know, it's a very clean Corvette. The other thing I like about it, it's got pretty low mileage on it. I think just around 60,000 or so. And when we get inside in a minute, we'll take a look and see the exact mileage. But once again, if you go on the internet, on YouTube or on Google or websites and whatnot, they talk about this particular body style Corvette being like one of the top sports cars you can buy for around $10,000 or so. And that's definitely for sure. Um, now, do take into consideration you know, this one's a little bit more, it's around 12.9, but take into consideration the cleanliness of the vehicle, the mileage of the vehicle, and all of that. You can definitely find Corvettes like this for less than $10,000, and we've had them here at Southern Motor Company many, many times, but this one's a little bit more, and I think you can understand that after watching the video and seeing just how clean and nice this Corvette really is. The body's in beautiful shape. I mean, honestly, the video just doesn't give it enough justice. Really seeing it in person really makes a difference. I mean, the paint is so silky smooth. I mean, just, man, it feels really nice. Thanks to the team over there at Southern Motor Company Details, they really get these cars looking pristine. Um, I like the wheels, good looking wheels. Also good looking tires. Take a look at those. Mickey Thompson tires good tread life on them just had our buddy brody over there wash her up for us clean her up put a little tire dressing on there making her look all pretty so we can film her we just got done doing pictures for the website and all that but anyway some of the things we do on these videos is really i'm trying to show you the condition of the car so you can see that the condition is really nice all right anyways but there's the rear this is a two owner vehicle originally was sold up in michigan and uh, not even two three thousand miles after someone bought it uh, the car got brought all the way down to the east coast of america to this beautiful state of north carolina so most of this vehicle's life was in north carolina and then now it has made its way here to beautiful charleston south carolina but you got the red with the red interior which is just a really nice color combination i love the black and everything like that but what a beautiful car anyway stay with us we're gonna hop in in just a minute here take her down the road so we can go get some interior shots for our website and uh, while we're doing that you'll get to actually ride with us and see how the car drives so here we go all right everybody let's go ahead and hop in Ugh, yeah it's low to the ground that is definitely for sure it's a corvette man it's meant to be low to the ground and, and once you're inside the car, it's like you're encapsulated in here. I mean, you're like, you're a part of the vehicle, it feels like, right? You're the person driving this beautiful American legend. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn her on and crank her up. There we go. Yeah, it's a little chilly outside today, but we got her running. Oh man, you can hear that 5.7 liter V8 under the hood just to purr in. All right, so mileage on this Corvette is 64,180. Again, 64,180. And uh, everything works as it should on the interior. AC works, heat works, radio works, and it is really clean. I mean, look how clean it is. The dash is in great shape, no cracks or anything like that. Steering wheel's in good shape. But uh, we even got the original books and manuals to it. The passenger seat looks great. The leather has really held up quite nicely on it. 
to be a car of so, so much age on it, you know? Um, back here looks really good. I mean, look how nice and red all that carpet is. You know, um, you can tell the car has definitely been garage kept over the years because it has no window tint on it, okay? And, uh, you know, window tint a lot of the times will help protect some of the coloring of the interior so the sun doesn't, you know, fade it out. But there's no window tint, and as you can see, it is red as red could be. So you can tell it's been garage kept. Um, even up here, all this looks really good. Got your little mirror right in there with the lights on it and all that. But it just is super, super clean. All right, everybody, we got my seatbelt on. Let's go ahead and see how the 96 Corvette drives. Man, it feels cool sitting in here, doesn't it? I mean, it's just so low to the ground. You know, this is definitely one of those bucket list cars I would think you need to get in life. And at 12.9, what I mean, just an affordable price. Let's give her a little gas. All right. Well, what we're doing, we're taking her over to the church over here to get some interior shots. You know, one thing I've learned working at Southern Motor Company, that lighting when you're filming vehicles is so important. And uh, so we, we come over to this little church here to really kind of get away from the sun so there's not so much shadowing on the inside of a car when you're taking pictures. So if you're a car dealer or someone looking to sell your car, again, pay attention to that stuff. Lighting is so important when you're taking photos of your car for your website or even on Facebook Marketplace. Believe when I tell you, it really does make a big difference um, in selling your car when getting really good photos. You know, if you're a, a private party person, you're looking to sell your own personal car, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, a lot of people on Facebook, when they're private party selling, they might take pictures in their driveway, this, that, and the other. I would suggest you taking the car somewhere nice and getting some good shots of it. And it don't even matter. If you got a Honda Accord, a Toyota Camry, even something just simple, don't shoot it in your driveway at your house. Take it somewhere and get a nice little backdrop in there and get it away from all the other cars and things like that, okay? Get it on its own so someone can focus on the car you're selling. And you don't really need your address and your house and all that stuff in the background. You know, nowadays, you just there's some weirdos out there. All right, guys, I'm gonna take my photography shots, then we'll get back in, check her out, pop the hood, let you see it a little bit more, and take it on back down to the store all right everybody so here's the motor on the 5.7 liter man good gracious this corvette's got a big engine doesn't it it looks good the 5.7 for 1996 yeah now from what i've learned and been told by mr chris at southern motor company is this is a wonderful engine reliable it lasts a long time you can really you know beef them up you can do all kinds of stuff but this is like one of those engines that just seems to keep going and going and going it's a strong lasting motor okay so anyways what a good engine there the 5.7 liter man oh man i can only imagine that engine can really put some power to the rear wheels and get us taken off right on down the road there. I love the old school pop-up lights. Let me know in the comment section. Should auto manufacturers bring back the pop-up lights? I don't think they ever will, but they should because pop-up lights back in the 80s and 90s were so cool. Anyways. Yeah, look how clean she is though. Yeah, very clean, very clean. Good looking car. I think you're probably already noticing that this car is definitely well worth 12.9 or best offer just a nice clean corvette all right guys i'm gonna hop back in i just got done doing my interior photos we even got a special little video talking about tips on taking photos of cars stay with us on that and uh yeah let's hop back in drive her down to the store and hopefully we can sell a car today all right let's pull her out of here and take her back down to southern motor company you know somebody made a comment on the 1981 Corvette video that I had filmed with Mr. Chris going, this is a, you know, basically saying this is a video where it shows when the boss won't let you drive, you know, the cool car, you know, cause Mr. Chris was driving. How about, hey, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I wanted to film Mr. Chris if you're watching. Anyways, yeah, you know, hey, I try to make the videos a little different sometimes. Sometimes we get Chris on camera. Sometimes I go out and film them just like I'm doing this one. So it just depends on what we got going on that particular day. But um, anyways, let me know what y'all think about this 96 Vet. Is this something you'd be interested in and in buying? 
if you are in the market for a Corvette, please put us down on the list. Come and see us at Southern Motor Company. I'm definitely here to help you. And Mr. Chris would love to talk with you about a Corvette and, uh, and see you super excited about buying one. All right, guys, have a blessed day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We will see everyone on the next video. Which one will we film next? We got some really cool stuff coming. So stay with us right here on CCV at SMC.